to an extra bonus video this week. Today I am racing the Dutch National Zwift Championship. So that's pretty cool, a very special Zwift race. Last year I raced it as well and I think, actually I don't remember. Last year in the Dutch National Championships I finished 67th. So I hope this year I can do better. I'm setting up everything now. I need to get myself some water and some food because uh, the race is about... Hey Leon. <laughs> the race is about 60 kilometers. So it should probably take around an hour and 20 minutes. That means two bidons and some food, a snack and a gel. It's race day so I can take my favorite electrolyte thingy. Blueberry flavor. Right, warming up is finished. I think it's been three weeks since I did the Swift race. So I'm a little bit nervous, but who cares. Let's see which bike I want to ride. It's going to be a flat course. I should ride an arrow bike. This is fine. See my wheels. Three arrow points, four arrow points, or these ones. I'll take these ones. They are overall definitely the best. The lightweight Meilensteins. One minute to go. I'm gonna turn on my fan so you probably won't hear me anymore. Wish me luck. Here we go. minutes in, pace is slowing down a little bit. We definitely lost touch with the first group. We're in a small group of eight right now. The only thing we can do now is push on and catch all the people that also get dropped. That's a bit shit. I wasn't paying attention for 10 seconds and then this happens. Okay, looking at the preliminary results, it does look like I finished in the top 50. But to be sure, I'm gonna check Swift Power because those are the official results. I'm, uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how the race went. Other than that first mistake that made me lose contact with the first group. Other than that, I rode it pretty well. Managed to predict the moves of the others, so I didn't have to put in too much power if they accelerated. But it was really tough. I'm gonna do a cool down and then I'll see you on the couch. <laughs> okay, I'm finished. Looking at Zwift power, it seems that I finished 42nd, which is 25 places better than last year, which is a good sign. Next year, maybe another 25 better, and then in two years, maybe I can win. 
That's the, that's the plan. Shout out to Niels Grote Beverborg, who won. And also to Bas Pater, a guy that I really only know from Swift, but he finished fifth. Good one, Bas. Next time I'm gonna try to beat you. I did my best one minute power and I also did my best one hour power. So I'm pretty happy with how the race went. Now for another thing, as I told you in last week's video, I'm going to focus this week to pick up my new Isalco Max. Very excited about that. But also they invited me to join one of their pro mountain biking teams for a mountain bike ride. They told me to bring my mountain bike uh, cycling gear. <laughs> but of course I've never ridden a mountain bike before. So I have no idea what to bring or what to wear when I go mountain biking. So I'm going to try to look that up. What do mountain bikers wear? What to wear on a mountain bike ride? Hey Leon. Hello. In general, trail riders and downhillers tend to also baggy kit consisting of loose-fitting shorts with a pair of padded lycra shorts underneath and a loose-fitting jersey. Loose-fitting? Loose-fitting jersey. And loose-fitting shorts. So maybe I can just wear my uh, swimming pants over my cycling kit? A loose-fitting jersey. Who wears loose-fitting jerseys? Mountain bikers. <laughs> Gloves I have. Socks I have. Shoes I have. Okay, so most important thing, I have to find a loose-fitting jersey and loose-fitting shorts. So I'm gonna look for those and then start packing my bags because I'm leaving in two days. And I guess that means I'll see you in Stuttgart. Bye-bye. What are you doing? Spraying the plant, except for this uh, cactus. Cactus with uh, that died because you gave it a lot of water. I didn't. Every week. I didn't. You did. I might have. And it died.